Turns around a point are a ground reference maneuver that consists of two same direction 360 degree turns around a ground reference object, such as a road intersection or other notable point on the ground. The airplane's ground track resembles two same direction equal radius circles around a selected ground based reference object. Before learning how to conduct proper ground reference maneuvers, a pilot first must understand how the wind affects their aircraft's ground speed and how to adjust their bank accordingly to compensate for the influence of the wind. If a pilot were to make a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line where there is no wind, the aircraft will cross the reference line as the pilot completes their 180 degree turn. But if a pilot does a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line when there is a tailwind, the aircraft will be blown away from the reference line and complete their 180 degree turn before crossing the reference line. This is due to the tailwind causing the aircraft to have a higher ground speed than their indicated airspeed. The opposite is true when there is a headwind. If a pilot does a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line when there is a headwind, the aircraft will be blown towards the reference line and complete their 180 degree turn after crossing the reference line. This is due to the headwind causing the aircraft to have a lower ground speed than their indicated airspeed. If a pilot does a 180 degree turn with a constant bank angle after crossing a straight ground reference line when there is a crosswind, the aircraft will be blown parallel to the reference line and complete their 180 degree turn further down the reference line than desired, increasing their turn's radius. The way a pilot can compensate for these undesired outcomes is to constantly adjust their bank angle based on their ground speed. If a pilot has a higher ground speed, a steeper bank will be necessary to compensate for the influence of the wind. Whereas if a pilot has a lower ground speed, a shallower bank angle will be necessary to compensate for the influence of the wind. By adjusting the bank, the pilot is also adjusting their wind correction angle, allowing them to remain on the desired ground track throughout their turn. The reasons pilots conduct turns around a point are to learn how to properly correct for wind while turning, to understand how to adjust bank angle in relation to their ground speed to adjust rate and radius of a turn, and how the wind influences the airplane's ground track and relation to a ground reference point. These skills are essential to pilots, especially when flying in the traffic pattern. Ensure the starting altitude is 800 feet with a suitable place to land in case of an emergency. Epic Flight Academy uses 800 feet for the entry altitude to simulate the traffic pattern entry at New Smyrna Beach Municipal Airport. Select a small but prominent reference point. It is best to use intersecting lines such as two roads crossing perpendicular to each other or crossing sections of fence lines. Establish 95 knots indicated airspeed, approximately 2200 RPMs. Enter the maneuver downwind and plan to make both turns to the left. Note the starting heading and altitude. The altitude should remain constant throughout both turns and the starting heading should be rolled out upon the completion of the second turn. As the pilot approaches the point, it should be halfway up the wing strut in the Cessna 172 to ensure proper spacing throughout the maneuver. If the object is lower than halfway up the wing strut, the object is too close to the aircraft and the turn will be too steep to properly complete the maneuver. Oppositely, if the object is above the middle of the wing strut, the object is too far away from the aircraft and the banks will be too shallow to properly complete the maneuver. As the object moves to the center of the wing during the entry, the pilot then rolls the aircraft into the steepest bank as the ground speed is the fastest due to the tailwind. The pilot crabs the aircraft's nose to the inside of the turn to properly compensate for the wind. The first half of the turn around a point requires a slow reduction of bank. Adjust bank angle and wind correction angle as necessary to correct for the effects of the wind and to maintain a constant radius around the reference point. Once the aircraft is upwind, which is after 180 degrees of the turn is completed, the pilot enters the shallowest bank to the slowest ground speed due to the headwind. The pilot crabs the aircraft's nose to the outside of the turn to properly compensate for the wind. As the second half of the 360 degree turn continues, the bank is slowly increased during the half of the turn around a point until reaching the steepest bank as the first 360 degree turn is completed. 
complete another 360 degree turn around the same ground reference object, adjusting the bank angle and wind correction angle as necessary to fly over the same ground track as the first turn. Plan to depart on the entry heading after two completed circles unless otherwise instructed. Remember, a pilot needs to divert their attention to flying the aircraft, looking for traffic, and holding a constant altitude while performing this maneuver. Some helpful tips when conducting turns around a point are Choose a ground reference point that is noticeable and in a safe area to execute an emergency landing if necessary. Allow enough time and distance between the reference point for a proper setup and entry. Do not rush the setup and entry as this will lead to an improper turnaround a point. Set the power to achieve 95 knots and only make small power changes if absolutely necessary. Enter the maneuver with a tailwind to start at the highest ground speed. When setting up for the maneuver, choose four aiming points that are equally distant from the reference every 90 degrees and fly the aircraft over these points. This will help make each turn uniform and equidistant from the point. Another outside reference the pilot should check to ensure the right wind correction angle is being applied for each portion of the turns is the reference point in relation to the wingtip. During the downwind portion, or first 180 degrees of the turns, the object should be just off the front of the wingtip when looking through the pilot's side of the windscreen down the leading edge of the wing. If the object is behind the wingtip, more wind correction angle should be adjusted by smoothly increasing the bank until the object moves forward of the wingtip. If the object is too far ahead of the wingtip, less wind correction angle is needed and should be adjusted by smoothly lessening the bank until the object moves just off the front of the wingtip. When reaching the 180 and 360 degree points of the turn, the object should transition to the center of the wingtip. During the upwind portion, or second 180 degrees of the turns, the object should just be off the back of the wingtip when looking through the pilot's side of the windscreen at the trailing edge of the wing. If the object is in front of the wingtip, less wind correction angle should be added by smoothly decreasing the bank until the object moves to the back side of the wingtip. If the object is too far behind the wingtip, more wind correction angle is needed and should be adjusted by smoothly increasing the bank until the object moves just off the back of the wingtip. Do not force the object to the appropriate position in relation to the wing using the rudder. This causes uncoordinated flight. Remain coordinated by using the appropriate aileron and rudder input throughout the turns. Continuously decrease the bank on the first half of each circle and then continuously increase the bank on the second half of each circle using smooth, small corrections to the bank. Bank and wind correction angle, crab angles, should be adjusted as necessary throughout the maneuver to achieve two complete 360 degree circles of equal radius throughout the continuous smooth corrections. Do not exceed 45 degrees of bank during this maneuver. If more than 45 degrees of bank is required, this is usually due to poor execution. Be sure to divide attention to the object, surrounding area to scan for traffic and terrain, and the instruments to ensure proper coordination, altitude, and airspeed are maintained. Remember, the stronger the wind, the more bank variation between the steepest and shallowest. When being evaluated by a progress check pilot or designated practical examiner while conducting turns around a point, the pilot must enter at an appropriate distance from the reference point, 600 to 1000 feet AGL with a tailwind. Apply adequate wind drift correction during straight and turning flight to maintain a constant ground track to maintain a constant radius turn around the selected reference point. Complete turns in the direction specified by the evaluator. Divide attention between airplane control, traffic avoidance, and the ground track while maintaining coordinated flight. Maintain altitude plus or minus 100 feet, as well as maintain your airspeed plus or minus 10 knots. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.